So what I want to do now is just, ex just go through some of my personal emotions about different things and some of my friend's emotions. And I've got the permission of the friend to mention her emotions. So uh, she's happy for me to do that. And I just want to illustrate some of the emotions towards God initially and then towards the opposite sex or, and the same sex. Um, so this is my suggestion. Make a list. Make a list for yourself of how you really feel about God. Not, not how you want to feel about God down the end sometime, or not you know, worried about God punishing you and so you don't say the truth anymore, and not worrying about you not ever going to receive God's love if you feel this way, none of those things, but just write down exactly what you feel about God right now. Let yourself write it down, what it is right now inside of me that I feel about God. So when I did this, and um, one of I'll just explain a bit of background so you can understand perhaps my feelings. When I did this, um, one of the biggest emotions that I have this century is that I don't want to do what, what I came here to do. <laughs> and the reason why I don't want to do it is because I feel like I, I don't I feel like I keep sacrificing my personal life for a duty or responsibility that's been given to me. Now, I never felt that in the first century, and I never felt that in the spirit world, but I feel it now. And, and I have some really strong anger about how much I'm getting pushed into a corner <laughs> through my own emotional state in order to be in front of people, for example, teaching them these things, right? And so I'm feeling quite frustrated and angry about that still. And this is some of the emotions that I've been working through lately, and that I have given myself a few more weeks to deal with. So I'll read some of them to you. I feel God has given me a responsibility and then made it as hard as possible for me to fulfil it. I feel the feminine side of God is uncaring, does not nurture me, is unloving and unkind towards me, expects me to do what she wants without support, wants me to sacrifice myself and my life for her will, does not care about me being happy in my personal life, is callous towards my own suffering and pain, does not want me or love me, does not want to give to me, wants to humiliate me in public, wants me to be alone, wants me to be in pain, wants me to suffer. God hasn't protected me, hasn't kept me safe, hasn't loved me, doesn't care for me, and will punish me if I say anything wrong, and she plays with my life. She does not want to send me help, and keeps on expecting too much of me. No matter how hard I try to do things right, she wants to make things even harder. God has made a mistake selecting me. <laughs> now that, that's just one emotion that I have towards God. And I could list 20 others. But that's just one. Group of emotions about responsibility. So the underlying feeling is that I've got too much responsibility. And I don't want it. Like, I'd rather just find my soulmate, go off into the wild blue, blue, blue yonder, as they say, and, and have my fun time there, pass a peaceful life and a good life, and just pass and not have to do all of this. And it comes from a lot of fear. It does. It comes from a lot of fear about, you know, maybe my dying again, you know, maybe, uh, you know, that I'm going to be, you know, the constant source of ridicule and humiliation and things like that. So it comes from a lot of different emotions like that. Now, what I try to do then is I try to step into the anger of it. So if you see the next subheading, I've got experience the anger of how I feel about God's so-called treatment of me, right? I feel rebellious. I don't want to do what God wants. I'm exhausted and tired of suffering. I feel infuriated with God and want to hurt God as much as her laws have hurt me. I want to scream and yell and swear at God. She has exercised her power unjustly and I want to be, her to be punished for it. I feel God is wrong. I'm afraid because the power God has now and it seems that she wants to harm me with it. I feel overwhelmed with the responsibility. I'm angry with God for giving me a duty that I cannot fulfill and for not helping me in the way I wanted all the times I've asked for help. I'm irate, hostile, aggressive, infuriated, seething with rage, full of violence 
and want to abuse God and crack a temper tantrum. I'm outraged at the seeming injustice I keep experiencing at God's hands. I want to swear and curse at God and rebel. Yes, Jesus is having these emotions. You haven't got that thought on your own, AJ. Sorry? You haven't got that thought on your own, mate. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, you have a lot of people who feel these things, right? Are you Pisces? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is that if you are not in the emotion, you are at that moment projecting the emotion. So if you have anger inside of you that you're not in, you are actually projecting it at that moment anyway. You're just unaware of it. Why do you think dogs come up and bite you? Why do you think children come up and yell at you? And why do you think yeah. it's because of the anger that you have within you that's just getting reflected out to the environment? And the dogs pick it up. Everybody picks it up. Everybody. Yeah. When the moment you yeah. own it is the moment they stop picking it up from you. The moment you experience it. And I don't mean going out and bashing them with it, because that's not owning it. I mean actually owning it by doing it in that, in that fashion that I've just described. What if you haven't got the law of attraction showing you any angry stuff? Does that mean that you haven't got anger inside? No, not at all. I have plenty of good law of attraction things happening, but that doesn't mean... You know, a lot of times, though, if you're honest with yourself, you will see, you will see that you know, there's lots of events going on that you're frustrated with in your life. Now, frustration, I've found, covers over huge amounts of anger. Mm -hmm. And you know what we do with it? We go, oh, I'm, a, I'm a bit frustrated. <laughs> you know, I'm just a bit frustrated. <laughs> no? But in reality, what are we really? Seething with anger, but we're just not allowed to have it. Right? Yeah. That's what we are, really. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... Then I had to try and step out, after my anger, I, like what I've been trying to do is step into the underlying emotions as well, which is an emotion of grief. So let's look at my grief now. God hates me because I'm unlovable. I am nothing and cannot do what God asks. I am afraid and exhausted. I am unworthy of any caring emotion and only deserving of pain. I am helpless and insufficient. My life is not under my own control. I cannot be happy because God does not want me to be happy and does not want to have me have love in my personal life. I cannot do what God asks. It's too big for me to attempt. I'm sacrificed by God just because I love God and truth. I feel overburdened and helpless. I've been abandoned by God and soon will feel destroyed completely. I feel disappointing, unworthy, forsaken, tortured. I feel ashamed, self-conscious, wounded, exhausted, devastated, heartbroken, miserable and my agony does not stop. There is no way out of my misery. So that are the emotions that I'm feeling <laughs> towards God at the moment. And what I'm wanting to do over the coming few weeks is really connect with those, you know, and really let myself feel those. There's quite a lot there, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's just one little side point of my... <laughs> things that I've got to work on over the coming weeks.